All right. You're probably wondering why the code was WizKit, but here's why. Yeah. So this is um, a kit from, uh, it's called the RFID Wiz, and this is from Smooth Technology. Um, and uh, the, Smooth Technology actually, um, the, the main designer uh, used to be an Adafruit peep, so it's great to see um, folks going off and designing their own kits, and then we get to stock it. Um, so they do a lot of escape rooms and installation and art exhibits, and there's a lot of things where it's like you want a card that will turn something on or off. Like it's, a, it's like, you know, when you touch something to something else, something happens. And, you know, if you know Arduino, yeah, it's not too hard to code up, but a lot of people, they don't want to um, do all the wiring and the relay and, you know, the protection circuit and all that stuff. So this is a um, board that has an AT Tiny on it, and you can see it plugs into... The red board is an RFID reader, and the blue button is the program button. So what you can do is you hold a card over it and you hold down the, the you know learn button and it learns about that card. And then you see when she um, moves the card back and forth, the green light indicates, and you can't see hear the um, relay because it's a GIF, not a uh, movie. Um, but the relay is turning on and off. And so it's really, really easy way. You just power it with 12 volts. You get a relay out. The relay can do, I think, 240 volts up to maybe, yeah, 240, 250 volts AC up to 10 amps. So you can control pretty um, significant uh, equipment with it. Um, and, uh, you know, basically just use this for art projects, installations, museums, escape rooms, you know, uh, automation inside your home. Yeah, and on the product page, there's a couple videos that are linked in the photos. Just click through mm -hmm. and you can see uh, both of them. They put together some really good videos. Yes. Next up. Okay, next up we have a STEM acutification of the ADXL343, so this is a revision. Um, this board is still red. This was a collaboration project between us and DigiKey and Analog Devices uh, before they, uh, no, actually, Analog Devices is still Analog Devices. Um, That's why it's red, because um, ADI and uh, DigiKey both uh, like the color red. And uh, this features the ADXL343. It's very, very, very similar to the ADXL. 345, um, but it's very affordable. Now comes in a Stemma QT format um, with two Stemma QT ports, so it's plug and play. This is a great, solid triple axis accelerometer. I really, really suggest this for like rock solid performance. You don't get weird flaky behavior. It's like tried and true. This is like a decade old uh, or more 15 year old um, accelerometer chip for analog devices. So it's, it's well established as I think uh, two, four, and 16 uh, plus or minus G. It's on the back, actually. I can go. Yeah, sorry, plus or minus 2, 4, 8, and 16 G. So good for every all around purpose uh, accelerometering. All right, next up. We've also got a new revision for the uh, ESP32 S2 Cutie Pie. Um, this board came out. It was good, but I made a little mistake on the low power mode for deep sleep. It's been fixed. I also rotated the antenna, so it's pointing out. You get like 3 dB better gain, so you know more gain is better gain. Um, otherwise, it's the same, so it's just upgraded and updated. Um, it's adorable. It can run Circuit Python. It can run Arduino. It's got uh, four megabytes of flash, two megabytes of PSRAM, all inside that little chip. So um, a great little board if you want to uh, have a miniature. Arduino or CircuitPython, Wi-Fi capable microcontroller that's like fingernail sized. All right, and the star of the show tonight, besides you lead, our community, our customers, our team here at Adafruit and everyone who helps run the shows and all the things here and more is. Yay, it's a TFT. People love TFTs. This is a 1.9 inch IPS TFT, which means it's very visible from all angles. It's truly a rectangle. I know we've done a couple round rec displays. Um, but this is a rectangular display. It's uh, 170 by 320 pixels, so it's quite a few pixels. It's got kind of this, like, kind of a long, longish view, um, but could be useful for some people. It's got four mounting holes um, and uh, uh, pads on the bottom. You can solder it uh, into a breadboard like this and wire it up, and then you can use, um, it's running the ST7789 chipset. So you can use it with Arduino or CircuitPython. Honestly, the ST7789 is so popular now, pretty much anything that supports a TFT will support this TFT. Um, just have to set the uh, width and height. On the back, it's got a micro SD card slot. So if you want to use that to store like GIFs or images or animations, 
or whatnot, you can do that. And there's also an iSpy connector. We're going to be doing more stuff with iSpy, but we're getting started with just making sure that all of the um, boards that we ship have this connector. So people, it's kind of like a stemma for SPI displays, make it very easy for people to, um, you know, snap open and, um, and, you know, connect a TFT without doing all the breadboard wiring. All right, you want to show it off? Yeah, I thought I could show it off real fast on the overhead. This is it with a SAMD21 QD Pi. So it's a nice crisp display. As you can see, it's IPS, and so um, it's very visible. You don't get any of the color. You know, I mean, it, it gets a little darker because um, it's not as close to the camera. Um, but it doesn't have uh, color distortion um, up to plus minus 80 degrees. Uh, full color display, I don't know, it's kind of nice. It's a nice little size. Um, you know, 170 by 320 pixels. It could be good for like a little text output or a control interface. Okay, and that is new products this week.